Hi there, I'm Chris and today I'm in Meanwood Park. I've come here today because before we start thinking about composting, we're going to think about how waste was dealt with in the past. And to do that, we're going to have to turn back the clock a long, long way. We're going to turn the clock back till before there was TV, before there were cars, even before there were books, right away back to 5,000 years ago. Back in those days, very few humans lived in Britain and almost all of the country was covered in forests like this. And the amazing thing about that time is that there was no waste. No waste at all. So, by looking at this forest, we are looking back into the past to how Britain looked all those years ago. Now, as I look around the forest floor, it's hard to see any rubbish or litter. All I can find are old leaves, loads of twigs, like these, plants, and underneath them all, lots and lots of soil. So why is there no waste in the forest? I think we need Dr. Otolotta to explain. Hmm. such as this dandruff, which I just can't seem to, to shake off. One of the most important jobs that microorganisms have is to break, 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 break down old plant and animal waste. When the rain falls down onto the dead leaves to make them wet, the microorganisms then begin to eat away at them. Soon, Worms come up to the top of the soil and pull the leaves down into their holes to eat them. So the waste from the tree becomes food for the worm. The leaf then passes through the worm's body and comes out as uh, uh, droppings. But worm droppings are actually very good soil. And good soil is full of nutrients, which the roots of the plants, like trees, love. So the roots take in the nutrients, and next year they can turn them into, yes, you guessed it, more leaves. So, let's look at that again. The tree's waste is the leaves. But the leaves are the worm's food. The worm's waste is the uh, droppings. 
but the uh, droppings are full of nutrients that the tree takes in to make more leaves. So, altogether, there is no waste at all. Everything is in a cycle and is going round and round and round. It's very clever and has been going on for billions of years. So that's why I couldn't find any waste in the forest. In nature, there is no such thing as waste. Everything gets used by something else. In nature, there's no such thing as rubbish. In the past, almost all of humans' waste would rot away too. Most of the waste we made either came from plants or came from animals and we call that kind of waste organic. And so things like vegetable peelings or old food waste would get thrown into a heap somewhere and then all the worms and the soils would come up and rot it down just like all of the other waste in the forest. And so all of the nutrients would be recycled when plants then use the soil to grow again. The only things which wouldn't rot away would be things like bones and shells. Nowadays, we still produce a lot of organic waste. Schools make lots from all of the fruit and veg that pupils eat. And at home, about a third of our waste is organic. At the moment, all of the food waste which gets put into your bin gets taken to a landfill site. Once it gets there, it slowly rots away and releases a gas called methane, which is bad for the environment but we can easily get nature to take care of our organic waste forest in our school or in our gardens using a process called composting and it works in exactly the same way as how the leaves rot away in the autumn and I bet Dr Rotolotta knows exactly how to do it. Let's ask him. Okay, if you want to compost, here is what you'll need. A plastic container like this or a wooden container like this this one is made out of old pallets you will need a container with a lid to collect your organic waste and some organic waste here's how to do it as you make food waste in your kitchen things like carrot peelings banana skins and apple cores or maybe all bits of lettuce, you put them into your container. Do not, however, put cooked food leftovers in because that can attract rats. <coughs> Every day you take the waste to the compost bin. Once in the compost bin, many animals begin to eat away at the food waste, including worms, our friends the microorganisms and other animals like woodlice, millipedes, snails <laughs> and my favourite, uh, juicy slugs. <laughs> There's so many things you can put into your compost heap. These include potato peelings, pear cores, old flowers, pea pods, grass cuttings, hair and nail cuttings. The list is endless. You'll also need to add dry papery things such as egg boxes, cardboard, cardboard tubes from inside a toilet roll, paper towels and paper. These help to make precious air spaces so that the microorganisms can breathe. Without them, your compost heap might turn into an awfully stinking, slimy mess. Ugh! If this does happen, you must add more of these dry, papery things. Once your waste is in the bin, it'll take approximately eight months for the microorganisms to get down and do their thing. After this time, you can dig down into the bottom of your heap and you should be able to find lovely, nutritious compost. 
Thanks a lot, Dr. Rattelotta. Well, there's some compost here that's ready. So I'm going to dig some up and I've got an idea of what to do with it. I've got an old pot and I'm going to fill it with the compost. I've got a little seedling here. Let's put it into the compost and we'll see what it turns into. <laughs> the plant's too big for the pot now, so I'll plant it out into the ground. Now the plant is fully grown and it's produced some fruit. So all of that food waste that we rotted down to make compost has been turned back into food again. Let's see what we've got. Here, look at that. It's a huge marrow. All I need to do now is invite my friends around and I can cook a huge feast. Mm -mm. So, by composting, we turn old food waste into great soil which we can use to grow more food. And we stop food waste going into landfills and making pollution. So it's a win for us and a win for the environment. So why not start composting at your home or at school? After all, it's only natural.